What's up Madden community? MT squared back with another Madden 23 ultimate team video and today we need to talk about the market training doubled in price in the matter of a day because of the training variety pack coming back in the game so in this video we are going to take a look at the direction the price of training has gone in recently and take a look at the price history of specific top tier cards to see if you should or should not be selling them real quick though I am still a small time Madden youtuber and a fan of the FTA theory or for the algorithm Basically means every like, comment, and subscribe from this video, the more viewers like yourself this video gets pushed out to. So hit that like button and make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you can see my daily videos. Like a goal for this video is going to be 50. So I hope that you have been investing in training for the past couple weeks like I have been recommending. And if you did, you are probably sitting on a pretty nice coin stock. Personally, I've got a 95 overall Saints 50 out of 50 theme team. I actually just put a video out on that yesterday with my new Saints team team featuring Tracy Porter, who has kept up to a 99 overall and Chris McAllister kept up to a 98. If you haven't checked out that video, definitely do so after you watch this video. Plus, I have about 12 million coins and for those of you new to my channel that's all with being no money spent all the coins i've made since the start of madden are from investments building sets and making profit off of cards and flipping cards through sniping so let's take a look at the state of the current training market this information comes from the mutt.gg website so training is currently at 3.4 coins per training. That is at about 10 o'clock on Sunday morning, which is almost double where it was a couple days ago. The training variety pack caused this price to increase, and this pack is going to be available for the next four days until Thursday, February 2nd at 10 a.m. Eastern. So if you are thinking about selling your team, there's a couple things you want to take into consideration. One is that it is very possible the training variety pack will stay in the game on Thursday, and the price of that pack may just adjust due to the change in the cost of training. If you do have any 94s and under, then that basically means the price of those cards will likely either stay the same or slightly increase or decrease depending on how good the LTDs are that people can pull in those training variety packs. Before we take a look at any high overall cards, I want to go into my binder real quick and we are going to take a look at an example here, Alexander Madison. So if you were to take a look at Alexander Madison specifically and click up on your right joystick, you would see that the lowest price for Madison is 43,600 coins. So it is very common for somebody to just try to undercut that price and list a card for 43,500. Now, we're gonna go over to the auction house. This is something that you should be doing anytime you are selling cards. I'm gonna just click on 90 to 91 overall. So when somebody's looking to buy training and they don't want to spend a lot of time on that, then they're just going to go over to whatever amount of training that they're looking to buy for whatever that overall is. And then they're going to click on that. So you can see that there's one card here for 43,600 training. If I just refresh this, then it's possible. Yep, that's already gone. So the lowest price right now is 53,850 coins. So I could almost guarantee you that if you list your 90 overalls right now, I mean, you can check it at the time that you watch this video, if you list it for 53,500 coins or 52.5 or 51.5 or whatever you wanna do, then that card's gonna sell. You want to make sure that you list it only for one hour though, because the cards that are showing up are the 100 cards that are expiring the soonest. Anything that is past that is not gonna show up on here. So, I mean, these cards just sold for 53,850, 54, six. These cards are not worth that. I mean, maybe this Ushek card because he could get upgraded, but this um, right guard, I'm not Spencer Burford, that's not worth 53,850. Somebody's buying that to quick sell that for training. You can do the same thing for 92s and 93s. If I click on this right here, it looks like the lowest price is 99,000. So you should not be listing any cards under 99,000. You may even want to list it for 105 or 109. I mean, depending on, you know, the risk that you want to take. And if it doesn't sell the first time, just lower a little bit. But, and then you can take a look. If you have 93s, we can scroll down here. Yeah, so 130,000 is what it looks like 93s are going for. So you should be listing them for around 128, 129. You should not be listing any 93s less than that. I sold all my 93s between 129 and 135. Yesterday, I sold all my 91s around 65 to 70,000 coins. If we go to uh, 94s and 95s, then you can see 94s are going for 220,000 coins right now. So if you 
again, click up on your right joystick to see what the cheapest available Tom Brady or Joe Thomas is. It's probably going to say like 180 or 190. Do not list it for those prices. You can sell them for much higher. This is something I've been taking advantage of all year long. And this is what the players who have high coin stacks, this is what they do. Now, if you are looking to sell any of your high overall cards, so your 95s and 96s, these prices may come down on Thursday, even if the training variety pack does come back into the store on the same day for maybe an adjusted training price. And that is because we are about to increase to 97 overalls. So we've been at 96s for about three, maybe even four weeks now. We are getting a new promo on Thursday, likely the Super Bowl promo that has not been confirmed. We also may get 97s coming into the game tomorrow or Tuesday. We don't know. I mean, EA is going to put the 97 upgrades whenever they want. It makes sense, in my opinion, for it to happen on Thursday, but it could come out on Monday for the AKA new class. We should find out some point today when those AKA new class cards get revealed if we are upgrading to 97s. So let's take a look at the price history on some specific top tier cards in the game right now. First one I want to look at is Andre Reed. So when Andre Reed first came into the game, he was going for about 375,000 coins. And then he went down to about 350,000 coins. That was a couple days ago. He has shot up in price to 525,000 coins. That's a 150K differential. Andre Reid is one of the best wide receivers in the game. He gets deep out elite for zero AP, short in elite for one AP. He's only six foot two, I believe. So he's not the tallest of wide receivers, but he's fast. He's got 96 speed, I think right now, uh, which is the fastest receiver in the game besides Tyreek Hill, who's the only receiver right now who has 97 speed. But you can see the impact that the training market has had on Andre Reid and the higher overalls. So people are not buying Andre Reid to quick sell for training. It's because of the fact that the lower overall cards that you need to build in Andre Reid cost more because of training, which automatically increases Andre Reid's price. If we look at a, another card, we've got Andrew Thomas here. So he started out around 325,000 coins. He actually went up a little bit a couple days later because I think people realized this was a really good card. He gets Identifier for zero, Secure Protector for one AP, which is pretty much the same thing as Edge Protector, except it can be used on any offensive line. He happens to be an outside tackle, so... Edge Protector and Secure Protector are pretty much going to do the same thing for him, but he gets it for 1 AP, and then he came down a little bit in price, and then you can see he skyrocketed to about 500,000 coins, and this is for an offensive lineman. Taking a look at Darrell Revis, who is still one of the best cornerbacks in the game, started out around 750,000 coins, went up to almost 900,000 coins, came down as new cornerbacks came in the game to about 650k, came back up in price, because again, people realized how good this card was, came back down, and then he came back up again to 850,000 coins. That's a lot of coins for a card that came out, it looks like, almost three weeks ago or so. I mean, that's, that, that is a long time for for a card to maintain that price. Here we've got Keith Byers who started out at 450K. Those Campus Hero 2 Masters shot down in price. There was some sort of market glitch because of pull rates and overalls that we were getting. So everybody was buying those Campus Hero 2 packs which tanked down the Campus Hero Part 2 promo in price. So he was down to like 250K real quick. So he's pretty much hovered around that 250 to 300,000 coin mark for it looks like a couple weeks. And then as you can see, this card also shot up in price to right now at about 425,000 coins. Now let's look at some cards from the Legends promo. Because of the fact we are currently in the middle of Legends weekend, you need to take into consideration the fact that people are opening up Legends packs this weekend, which makes these cards more available. So their prices haven't been affected too much this weekend, but they could over the next couple days. So here we are gonna look at Terrell Davis first. Terrell Davis started out about 850,000 coins, came down quite a bit to around 700,000 coins and really hasn't shifted much over the last like five days or so. This is still probably the best running back in the game. I do expect his price to maybe go up a little bit over the next couple days. Also, it could depend on what position we get for AK new class and then also those weekly wild cards. If we get another top tier level running back, then Terrell Davis's price could continue to go down in price. Although people who are running Legends Steam teams are likely using Davis or Keith Fires. And if you're using Terrell Davis on your Legends Steam team, you're not going to replace it with one of the AKA new class players or weekly wild cards. You'd have to wait until the 
promo on Thursday, which is likely the Super Bowl promo or Ultimate Legends, maybe coming out on Saturday. We will have to wait and see. We're also due for a Team Affinity upgrade, so we could be getting a Team Builders promo or maybe Team Diamonds Part 2. That could come at any point in February. I would anticipate it will probably be coming out over the next few weeks because of the fact of Team of the Year getting pushed back to March. Another Legends card here, Brian Dawkins started out at a hot 1.65 million coins. Came down quite a bit to about 1.3 over the next few days after that. And then now he's settled out at about 1 million coins. So you can see this card also has not really been affected by the training variety pack because of the fact that it was already well over the training price. And the cards that you need him, so his 94 overall card, is not going to get affected also by training going up. His other set pieces, so like his 92s and 90s and 88s and stuff like that, those would be affected though. Mark Brunell, another top tier card here, probably the best quarterback in the game. I just switched to him a few days ago, actually from John Elway, started out at 800,000 coins, came down to like 500,000, kind of shifted around a little bit, but then you can see he shot up in price, which is interesting to about 750,000 coins, but that price started before the trading variety pack came back in the store, so it actually has not changed since the trading variety pack came back. And then the last card I want to take a look at is Marshall Yonda. So this is a right guard. It's a Legends card. Started out at 775K. Came down in price quite a bit to 500,000 coins within about a week or so. Came back up in price a little bit. Came back down. But he's fluctuated a little bit in that 600 to 650,000 coin mark. And I don't really expect that card to like go up or down too much over the next few days. So with these Legends cards and all the other cards mentioned, these prices could increase or de decrease also dependent on which cards come out this week. Most of the prices I've shown are players with Legends Chemistry, and we shouldn't be getting any cards with Legends Chemistry until Thursday, so that will have an impact on those people running Legends Steam teams. So I would expect, if anything, cards that gets Legends Chemistries may rise slightly throughout the week until Wednesday when people are selling off their teams for the new 97s we should be getting. Know when to sell, and Wednesday will not be that day, in my opinion. If you are considering selling your team, it's not a bad idea, but don't wait until Wednesday. I would look at selling any 94s and under now. Maybe wait until Monday or Tuesday to see what the price is for your 95s and 96s look like then. But that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it or found it helpful. And if you did, hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you can see my daily videos. And thank you for watching this video.